This is the Thermal Master P2 thermal camera. This uh, tiny thing has some uh, very high specs that uh, not even bigger and more expensive thermal cameras have. Here we get a simple straightforward plug and play, no batteries or buttons to deal with. Checking out the specs of the Thermal Master P2 here, weighing only at 10 grams, we get 256 by 192 infrared resolution and uh, with a plus minus 1.5 uh, percentage of accuracy and a range of uh, minus 20 Celsius up to 600 Celsius. Also, I have a heating gun here, which uh, ranges uh, from uh, 350 to 1350, which uh, we're gonna go ahead and test this out. One other thing I wanna do is go ahead and compare the Thermal Master with the Flare One Pro here. Uh, definitely the size here, you can see, uh, you can like fit quite a few of these uh, here. And here's a quick look at how they compare in size. And to get things going, all you need is the Temp Master app going. And if I go ahead and plug this in, you can see how fast uh, things start up here. And uh, right now the app is open, everything is connected. Clicking camera here. One thing I noticed here, the, the refresh rate comparing uh, this to my Flare one is uh, definitely much greater. It looks much smoother, which is nice. And uh, we can already see this is uh, starting to work here right away. Checking out the app here, there are a few things that we can go ahead and adjust here. So the zoom function, so you can go ahead and zoom in, zoom out here. And then up here we do have the calibrations and down here we got uh, some of the options to go ahead and uh, choose. We have point, line, rectangle, circle, and then font color. And uh, for example, if I go ahead and make a point here, so there's a, quite a few points I can make. And uh, you can see up here the temperatures. And if I wanna go ahead and delete all of them, I can go one by one, just click, or I can just hit delete here and it's gonna delete all those points. And uh, right now, let's just go ahead and make a circle on top of the coffee here. So we can kind of see the average. So 50 Celsius and 59 max and minimum, which is uh, going around the corners there. And here we can go ahead and see how hot this uh, coffee is. Going to the next menu, we have uh, the different uh, options uh, we're able to choose here. Um, so just here are a few of them. And next uh, we have the option to go ahead and take a picture or go ahead and uh, record straight from here. No need to go to a different menu. And uh, next, uh, we have the option to go ahead and display our camera. And the camera view that you're seeing up here is uh, coming from your phone camera. It's not from the camera here or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. And uh, next, we have uh, some more options here. So brightness, I'm able to go ahead and adjust the brightness here. And uh, contrast, uh, if you want a little bit more detail, you can go ahead and put the contrast a little bit higher. And then we got scale on and off and uh, mirroring and uh, you're also able to go ahead and rotate as well. And going to settings, uh, obviously you're able to go ahead and change your temperature settings uh, from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Here's a quick look at the camera itself here. So super simple design here, really no buttons or anything like that. The USB type C, the camera here and uh, that's pretty much it. And then we also get this uh, nice uh, keychain case here for the camera, which uh, comes with this nice uh, plush material here. So you can just put it in, close it up, and then uh, whenever you wanna go ahead and use it. Right now we're just gonna do a very quick uh, comparison between the Thermal Master and the Flare One Pro here. And I do have the Pixel 8 Pro, so we're gonna use also that uh, thermal as well. So checking this out first uh, here, just on top of my hand. So 32 Celsius here. And uh, now let's just go ahead and put in our Thermal Master. And one thing I love is how quick this things open up, like without anything I need to do here. And just go ahead and click point. And uh, we do get a reading of uh, 32 here. And now let's just go ahead and put in our flare one. And uh, one thing with this is we do need to turn it on and uh, I would need to re recharge this. So let's just go ahead and open up the app. And here we are. And uh, 28, so let's just do a quick calibration. 
and it is a 31.3 as you can see here so around 30 31 30 so that's where it's hanging right now so let's go ahead and put our heat gun on and uh, just see how far that can go so definitely climbing up here so 86 celsius 87 And now I'm just gonna go through around the everyday home objects so you can kind of see the details this is able to capture. Really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you want me to go ahead and test this out uh, with any specific things, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to do that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.